All right, thank you so much, Bob. It is now 531, and a retired police officer is due in court this morning, accused of drunk driving. And one man decided to pull out his video camera and catch the incident on tape. Check this out. John Kane first spotted the red car on Highway 1039 near Warsaw, Kentucky, swerving and crossing the center line. He got out his camera and called 911 and then followed the car. When the red car crossed over into Switzerland County, a deputy was there to arrest the driver. Authorities say he refused field sobriety and breathalyzer tests. West of Warsaw also today at around 2 o'clock when he saw that man in that red car driving dangerously. You're going to see the same thing. Kane grabbed his video camera and he followed along, as you can see, capturing that man, leaving weaving left of center time and time again, just like you can see there, and then drifting over to the right. Far too often, this guy almost most hits oncoming drivers head on. Now, Kane called 911 as the man crossed uh, the Markland Dam and into Indiana. As you can see right here, a Switzerland County Sheriff's deputy was there. If we can go back to that videotape, because this is important stuff to show at the end. Uh, he pulls him right over on 156 and arrests him almost immediately, almost about a minute later. And then uh, in the videotape, he pours out some uh, liquor that was apparently found in that car, something that looked like liquor. Let's talk about the legalities of all this. Tonight, the Switzerland County Sheriff's Office says the man is apparently a retired police officer. He's in jail tonight on suspicion of drunk driving, but hasn't been charged yet because uh, the prosecutor there in Switzerland County says he wants to meet first before he uh, goes to court in the morning. But some eye opening videotape there of a drunk driver. If you call 911, they will eventually catch up Rob and uh, try to get these guys off the road. Sean Lay, thanks very much. Tonight, the Switzerland County Sheriff's Office says the driver refused a field sobriety test and refused to take a breathalyzer test as well. He will be in court tomorrow.